विद्यार्थी मित्रों रैशनल एंड इरैशनल नंबर्स ये चैप्टर्स अपन बढ़ना रहो वी आर फैमिलियर विद द नेचुरल नंबर्स होल नंबर्स इंटीजर्स रैशनल नंबर्स नाउ द रैशन नेचुरल नंबर्स आर वन टू थ्री अप टू द इन्फिनिटी होल नंबर्स आर फ्रॉम जीरो टू वन टू थ्री अप टू इन्फिनिटी इंटीजर्स आर जीरो वन टू थ्री एंड माइनस वन टू थ्री बोथ साइड्स इन्फिनिटी द रैशनल नंबर्स ऑल्सो हैव द फ्रैक्शन एंड अब ऑल टाइप ऑफ द नंबर्स The rational numbers, the numbers of the form m upon n, are called the rational numbers, where m and n are the integers, but n is not equals to zero. This is very important. We have also seen that there are infinite rational numbers between any two rational numbers. Now let us learn to show the rational numbers on a number line. Let us see how to show seven upon three to minus two upon three on a number line. Now the denominator is a seven. Therefore, we make from one part, that is one unit part uh, of, we make it's a three. Therefore, from the zero to one, we have made the three parts. Now the first is seven upon three. That is, we require the seven parts. Therefore, from Zero. We count the seven parts. Therefore, that number is a seven upon three. Now next, we can show the number two on the number line seven upon three two by three minus two by three. That is seven upon three can be written as seven into one by three. Therefore, each unit on the right side. Of the zero is to be divided into three equal parts. The seventh point from the origin shows the seven upon three, or seven upon three, or that is equals to two plus and one upon three. That is a two complete and one by three. Therefore, hence the point at one third distance of unit after the two shows seven upon three. Two and one by three. Next, minus two upon three on the number line. We first we show the two upon three on it. The number to the left of the zero at the same distance will show the number minus two upon three. Now the practice set one point one. This is very simple practice set. Show the number. Following numbers on a number line, draw a separate number line. For example, for each example, that is first is three by two, five by two, and minus three by two. Now see this number line, origin of that is again it is divided by the two. Denominator is a two. Therefore, from zero to one, we make the only the two parts. Now the first number is three by two. That is a three by two is just shown there. That is a three parts. Next is five by two. Therefore, from zero, we count the five parts from the origin to the right. Now, the next seven by five minus two by five minus four by five. In this case, the denominator is a five. Therefore, from the one unit part, we make the five equal parts. That is, the first is seven by five, second is minus two by five to the left of origin. That is, the zero. And last is minus four by five. That is the fourth part we take to the consideration. If we count it, then it is the fourth part. Next is minus five by eight and the eleven by eight. Now we make from zero to one. That is eight equal parts because the denominator is eight. Now the first is to the minus five by eight. Therefore, from origin to the left. Now next example that is a 13 upon 13 upon 10 that is a from 0 to 1 we make the 13 equal parts uh, 10 equal parts therefore we record now here 10 upon 13 therefore from 0 we will count that is a 13 parts that is a 13 upon 10 on the left hand side that is a minus 17 upon 10. Now observe the number line and answer the questions. 
first which number is indicated by the point P that is a minus 2 and 4 minus 2 and 2 upon 4 now this number again can be that is equals to minus 2 and 1 upon 2 it can be written like this also now the next which point indicate the number 1 and 3 by 4 that is the point C to the right of the origin that is the point C. State whether next state whether the statement the point D denotes the number 5 by 2 is true or false. That is, it is a true. In this way, we have completed uh, the practice set 1.1. Now we will see the next practice at 1.2 till then goodbye.